Well, nothing says unofficial start to summer like cool, Memorial cloudy Day. conditions. <laughs> I know, right? It seems like you can never win with Memorial Day. That is at Barry Burbank on Twitter. You need to direct any concerns to Mr. Burbank. What is going on? You just have to remember that I am only the messenger. <laughs> and uh, don't create this stuff, but it would be nice to have three days of beautiful, sunny, warm weather through the holiday weekend. When we have a three-day weekend, it's, that doesn't happen very often when all three days are sunny and beautiful. But we'll try to get a little bit of sunshine from time to time. And it could be a lot worse. It could be raining all weekend. It's not going to do that. But it is going to be raining somewhat on, on Monday. And speaking of rain, we've had a wet month for sure. Look at some of these places for rainfall totals. Ashburnham, almost seven inches. Fitchburg, a little over six. Mashby, a little over six. New Bedford, almost six. And Edgartown, getting closer to six there, too. So it's been a wet month. And that's the story in Boston as well. 3.34, officially at Logan Airport. That's a half inch above the average up through the date of uh, May 26. Doesn't look like we'll have much in the way of rain today, so that's good news. Although there has been a little bit of mist overnight. See, most of it has dried up. Had a little mist here and there. I had some when I came into work around uh, 2 to 2.30 this morning. So, but not much going on right now. And there are lots of clouds around and a few breaks. So we'll talk about the pollen. Of course, the atmosphere has been cleansed by the rain, but the pollen count was low yesterday. The pollen levels are spiking up a little bit today. The main allergens now are oak, ash, and now we have grasses in uh, sort of contributing to some of the pollen situation out there. So the pollen levels will spike up a little bit more uh, deeper into the moderate zone tomorrow, then drop off Monday as we get some rain, then they start spiking up again on Tuesday. So not nearly as bad as they certainly have been. Uh, lower 50s with the temperatures right now in most locations and should go up around 60 to maybe 61 right along the coast to about uh, 65 to 70 inland away from uh, that sea breeze. But the rest of the nation is even warmer, at least most of the nation. Look at that, 70s and 80s across the route. So we'll have some severe weather out in the central part of the nation today, but no severe weather for us this weekend. There's the storm which gave us the rain yesterday, and some of that was heavy early in the morning. And now we're looking at a changeable sky today. I've looked out the window. I've seen patches of blue sky already. So it's going to be changeable. We'll have the sunshine breaking through. Look at this around midday. More and more sunshine. Then other clouds will tend to develop. So that's the deal you'll have today. Upper 50s at the coast near 60. Upper 60s near 70 inland. That's the way it should be today and probably tomorrow as well. But I'm hopeful that maybe we'll get a few more uh, bigger patches of sunshine coming up tomorrow. So somewhat higher temperatures. Then the rain starts Monday morning, Memorial Day, unfortunately. Uh, looks like it's going to turn wet. Uh, so maybe a little wet for some of those parades. No Heavy rain, but light to light rain and drizzle around. Then it goes back up to 70 to 75 the rest of the week with a few scattered showers and storms, but also times when the sun will be out. That's it. Back to you.